Hey, this is Mary and Alicia. We are so lucky to be on the board for the Northwest Oklahoma City Chamber, um, as well as we get to co-chair uh, community engagement, which we love because we're both moms. So it's really fun having uh, someone else there just in case something happens and uh, we need someone to fill in. Uh, and it's great to get to do stuff with you too, Alicia. How have you been? You know, I've realized that I can succumb to being a hermit a lot better than I ever thought that I would when everything was okay to be out and about and you know, there's all these events. When I think about how much time I was spending eventing, as we affectionately call it now, that was over half my week. I mean, I was in the car, out and about, constantly changing clothes, constantly going and going and going. That honestly, to be forced to be at home, granted, I'm lucky because we don't have to worry financially right now, at least not much, um, that I really enjoy being at home. I had no idea how much I actually would enjoy that. I thought if I wasn't going, going, and going, like on the weekends, it's like, okay, there's nothing happening unless I make something happen. So Friday to Sunday, if I'm just sitting at home, I'm like so bored. I'm like, I can't take this. I feel like I'm suffocating. I need to leave this house. But five months of this and not feeling the kind of different stresses that come with being out and about all the time and come with all of the sports and all the responsibilities and come with managing a team in person every day. And I'm working out every day in some capacity awesome. I suffer from migraines so my doctor's always been Alicia you need to go walk for 30 minutes a day even if you're running around you need 30 minutes of you know decent amount of walking speed and I started that in yoga and I have now if I do my walking I don't have a headache that day but if I miss it then I end up with a migraine that day. But it used to be that I'd have migraines, even with medication, two or three days a week. So I feel better because I have the opportunity to sit here and, and actually work out. And we figured out how to be this family who's with each other all the time and not kill one another. And that's really cool too. So I, I kind of like this life a little bit. There's definitely parts of it that I'm really okay with and just feeling like, we're in our home and we can enjoy our home and we can make our home our space and getting things done at home that been projects since we moved in five years ago. I'm like, okay, well it's, you know, it's done because we're spending time at home and spending time together and we are saving money because we're not out spending our allotted Dave and Buster's money and Comic-Con money every month. Our Lego money might have gone up a little bit. <laughs> Our Lego spending's gone up. But that's been nice, too. And I've really learned how to actually cook things-ish. A little bit better at that now than I used to be. So that's really cool. So just my time being spent differently. I've really appreciated it. And I've really liked it. And I definitely have anxiety about going back to that life of go, go, go. So I don't know if that's what other people are experiencing, but I don't but really I want to go back to that. I, I like what I found at home and I want to see my friends. I definitely want that. And I want my kid to get to go to school. This Google classroom end of last semester. I would have rather just homeschooled in myself than trying to figure out how to do what the school is asking us to do. It would have just been easier if I made my own curriculum or something than, than trying to follow this process. And, and I know that was not their fault. They had to work with what they had to work with, but that's when we fought was trying to figure out, all right, we got to get this in and this in and this in and this in and do this and do this. Um, baseball did restart or gear back up again a little bit, but you know, it's outside and we bring our own chairs and, you know, just kind of try to be wise about, you know, while we're out there, gone through however many hand sanitizers in our car when we need to go somewhere. Um, my husband's kind of our designated shopper most of the time that if we needed something, he'll be the one that runs in and gets it and we'll just kind of sit in the car. Um, I think I've been to target is the only store I've gone to personally. 
because I'm paranoid, I guess, about other stores. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just, it's, it's changed my thinking a little bit. Um, but for the most part, we're, we're, we've adjusted pretty well. And I feel like a slightly happier person because I'm able to just do things for me and not have to do the work. Sounds like you found a way to decompress though, that maybe you hadn't had before. Like oh, make yeah. yourself take that walk. Like mm -hmm. that just lets your brain truly, it brings you more peace. I feel like, you know, it does. So, I have my brain exciting. Yeah. I have back problems. Um, I have a series of other stupid issues medically. So it's helped me feel better because I can invest that time. So when, when we do go back to what the world, whatever it looks like when we do go back, there are definitely some things I don't want to lose. And I don't want to lose me making myself take care of myself. I didn't realize how much I wasn't. I was just running and running and running and running and running. 